All right, guys, so we are on to the sixth and final box from this sealed case. Uh, forgive this room, we're going through Christmas stuff right now. And I'm gonna say this, there's ups, there's downs. It's all kind of... That's Bella. Bella says hello. So yeah, there's ups and downs with these boxes, right? Um, and the last one you guys saw, yeah, definitely wrong, because I thought the prices would be like a lot better at the end when I configured everything and added it all up. But 70 bucks, and you're getting all these showcase cards? And then the other question is, what about all these, like, duplicates? You're getting, like, I, I opened five, six, seven, in some cases, nine of the same showcase card. That has to, like, tank the price on these showcase cards. Because I'm not the only one complaining about this. Um, I I've heard from uh, uh, Ground Zero, the owner. He said, a lot of customers hitting up Wizards of the Coast, and they are complaining about the, uh, the duplication. This is bad, you know? So I don't know if Wizards did this intentionally and they're like, this will be really cool. We'll put out like these mini little God boxes, right? And people are gonna get really excited until you add up the, the freaking value and you know, you just gotta take it to Pound Town. So it's, it's really hard to say. And then you watch this video and you see, I'm not gonna say how, how good we did, but just check out this video. I, I, I tallied it all up again, spent a couple hours editing while this guy was chasing me around the house. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you're going to see. Um, but what are your thoughts? What do you guys think of all this? Let me know in the comments. Uh, enjoy this video. Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl. She's the eye of the world. Okay, I cannot sing Michael Jackson at all. Okay. If you could do better, let me know. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Box six. The last box of these set boosters, the set boosters that came from just freaking madness. Uh, every single one of these boxes so far has been giving us nothing but showcase. Uh, we had one box with three foil mythics, which is seriously unheard of. That is not normal. That does not happen. Big thanks to Ground Zero for allowing me to crack these open. Uh, he just gave me a sealed case. Like, dude, start busting these open in the back. I'm like, all right. No way did I ever think I just hit a freaking God case. <laughs> he's not aware. Uh, um, um, he's not. I, I don't think he's aware of how much how much value he really has in all these. Um, maybe not yet. He will figure that out very soon. I'm sure. <laughs> Henrika Damnati, man. We have pulled so many of you, baby, and I have zero complaints. Pact of Peril. There you go. I know you guys were hoping I would say Pearl. We're going to call that Pearl from now on, okay? From now on, we're calling that Path of Pearl, just to freaking trigger new people, okay? I like doing that. Like, I like purposely mispronouncing shit. Sometimes I, act I actually do mispronounce it, though. But there's a lot of times I purposely mispronounce it. So someone will comment. I mean, I don't know what else to do to get you guys to comment. So, like, I just act like a complete bozo. And usually that works. Uh, we got Edgar, Charmed Groom. There you go. Edgar, Charmed Groom. We got Railier. Railier. <laughs> I should have stuck with Railier. <laughs> we got Railier. What did he do? We got Railier. <laughs> got a Railier over here. Um, I want to do this because we're going to have so many of those. Not many of those. Is there another land in here? No. No, there's not. Why are we missing a land? What's going on? Oh, because we got a foil in the front or something? Oh, that's right. We got a foil swamp. Okay. Stop it. Okay, here we go, guys. Swampy. Let's go, baby. Get some more pearl paths. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob, who uh, who keeps showing up on our doorstep. Welcome back, Jacoby. Jacoby, welcome back. Welcome back, Jacoby. Showcase for days, mythic for days. I think this is going to be one of the better boxes. I can already feel it, man. I can already feel this is going to be a really good box. Dorothea. It's Dorothea. It's whatever I want to call it. Uh, Salaf. And we got Raven Familiar showing up in our list pool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know how cool it is? It's really cool. All right, man. This is exciting. For the sixth box, if you guys made it, if you watched... Holy crap, if you have watched, and I, I, be honest, okay? Karma is a bitch. Be honest. If you have watched every single set booster box 
I have opened, that means all six boxes. You've watched every single video. I want to hear from you in the comments because that is a dedicated fan or maybe just someone really curious about, you know, these set boosters because I pulled freaking fire. <laughs> I, I, I pulled fire, guys. There's no other way to put it. We've been pulling fire. Six straight boxes. You don't do that. Uh, I want to hear from you in the comments. I just want you, in some way, shape, or form, in some capacity, you ever get that feeling like I'm yelling at you in a video? I want you to let me know that, that you've watched every, uh, you've watched every video uh, of this, uh, of these six set booster boxes. I, I, I just want to hear from you. That's it. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's it. I want to hear from you because uh, I really appreciate it. And, uh. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's it. All right, Swampy. Here we go. What else? What else? Uh, Breathkeeper Seraph, because I feel like we're kind of like living together with this, you know? I mean, you're watching, you know, from a distance. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all this. Look at these attendants. Runo Stormkirk, Innocent Traveler. Showcase, showcase, showcase. Um, whoa, Spellbound Drago. Get a load of that, dude. Cabbage. That's pretty cool. Big old Spellbound Dragon. You know I love my dragons. That thing, it looks sick. Like, he might have, like, the flu or something. His neck looks like it's a little broke. Okay. Really good. That was a good pack. That was a freaking good pack. But yeah, it's like we're doing this together almost. If you watched all six, I mean, you're basically in the house with me freaking cracking these open, you know? <laughs> like, it's it's that cool. All right, what else we got? You heard about the ghost stories and all types of crap. You heard it all, man. You heard about what I've ate. You've heard my, you've heard my Michael Jackson now. <laughs> You heard my uh, my personal opinion on Michael Jackson in the last video. Um, you know about my my bike ride. I mean, like it's like you're part of me, man. You you've become part of me. Uh, today I'm uh, yeah uh, visiting Ground Zero and uh, in uh, Strongsville, Ohio. Check them out on Pro Road if you're ever in the area. For real though, uh, there's uh, Amagam, Amagami, Amagami Gamma. I'm gonna call that Gamma from now on. That's Gamma. That's Gamma. I had a friend. And his sister called his grandma Gamma. And it was just it was just funny. You know, like, that's just what she always called him. You know, she's like, Gamma. And I, I just thought it was so funny how she said it. So, I don't know, we made fun of her for that, but it's whatever. You know, you pick on people when you're younger. Uh, <laughs> next. I got me. I have red hair, okay? If you, for once, if you for one second think I did not get made fun of when I was growing up, you are smoking some heavy stuff, man. I need some of that because... I got made fun of a lot. I got, I got red hair, man. I mean, no one does it now. Uh, especially now. Now, like, my hair color has turned into this, like, strawberry blonde. Like, it is blonde with a tiny bit of red in it. Now that's my natural hair color. And uh, a lot of people really like it. Like, it stands out. And not many people have that hair color. It's like, I don't know, one in, like, 10,000 people probably have natural strawberry blonde hair. It's insane. It's, like, it's a rare, very rare thing. There's Doomweaver. And then we got Reno Stormkirk. I don't think I know anyone. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I've come across anyone in a while. Or at all. That has uh, natural strawberry blonde hair. So, pretty cool. Like, I feel I feel unique and special for that. Um, but, there was a time I felt very small and very insecure um, about, about my hair. And uh, I, I remember bleaching it. <laughs> When I was all throughout high school, I mean, remember, I grew up when Eminem was, you know, I was in like my freshman year uh, high school when Eminem hit the scene. So, I mean, I was like fanboy, boom, you know, like <laughs> I wasn't wearing the white tee, but I, I, I did have the bleach blonde hair. And uh, I, I did get quite a few girls that said I look like them or something, you know, but that's because I mean, my hair's bleached and I'm skinny white boy, you know, <laughs> you know, so. Uh, but yeah, I was so, uh, so ashamed of my red hair then, you know, that, uh, that, that I, I did whatever I could to just mask it and hide it, you know? And, uh, I remember there were nights I, I would, I cried myself to sleep, maybe not in high school, you know? Um, but in, uh, in, uh, like maybe middle school, um, in elementary school, you know, I still had a lot of friends. I, I like to think I did. I think they were my friends. No, I still, I still talk to quite a few of them to this day. Um, I made friends, but uh, I, I definitely got, had my fair share of being picked on. And at some point, damn, another Henrico. This is a good box. 
uh, there came a point where I just said, I don't care. I don't care. Run, Joe, your hair's on fire. That, that was the funniest one, I think, you know. <laughs> My friend Chris and uh, uh, Matt said that. Like, run, Joe, your hair's on fire. I, I thought that was hilarious. They had red hair, you know. Um, and, the, and the first time I heard that, like, I felt so insecure about it. But then now, like, I, I, I asked Chris, like, dude, say that. You know, like, like, like it's funny, dude. Like, like, that's funny when you first said that. Like, I think back to those days. I was in high school then, so things were a little different. Like, I knew how to take an insult, you know, a little better. Uh, and people didn't mess with me when I when I was in high school. Like I, I was, uh, I was, I wasn't a bully. I, I mean, I, I stuck up. Look at that Riptide uh, director. That's pretty cool. I, I, I stuck up for the kids that usually got picked on, you know, because I was so used to being picked on. Um, and I was, I was a bigger kid, you know. I was skinny, but man, I could throw some friggin' bows, you know. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know. I'm just sharing a story with you guys. Yeah, I ended up getting expelled from high school and had to get homeschooled because I fought so much. Uh, and I think that was me just taking it out. If anyone ever picked on me or said something like the wrong way or even like did something really shady to one of my friends or something, I beat the hell out of them. No F's given. <laughs> you know, I remember this one kid, uh, he, called me, he called me the F word. Um, you know, for uh, the F-A a word, you know, F A. There's one more letter after that. I can't want to say it, but he called me that, and he said, "Nice hair, F A." You know the rest. And he was walking with two of his friends <laughs> at the time in the hallway. It was just, a, it was just a, the, the four of us, you know, walking in the hallway in between classes. And I'm like, "Ooh, that's nice, Edgar, charmed groom." And I'm like. I'm not about to fight these guys right now, or the guy, the, the kid that said it. Um, I also had braids in my hair too. This was in high school, I think tenth grade maybe. And they didn't know, uh, maybe eleven. No, this was eleventh grade. They didn't know that I was already in the bad boy class. <laughs> That's the reason I was in the hall. They were probably in the hall for some other reason, maybe to go to the bathroom or who knows what. But I was in the hall because I wasn't allowed to be in the hall with other kids. Because I was fighting them, if, if, they, if they said anything wrong to me. So I didn't do anything at this time, though. And these kids didn't have, they had no clue who they were messing with. So I took, a, like, a mental image. I took a mental, like, like image of this kid. And he, had a, he has a twin brother. I think he was with his twin brother at the time. Um, so I, I took a mental image of that. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to remember that. I said that to him, too. I'm like, I'll remember you. I'll remember you. And I pointed right at him. You know, while, while he's with his two buddies. I'm like, I'll remember you. That's all I said. A week later, remember, I don't get to see kids normally. <laughs> we don't get to do that. And we have a security guard that walks with us when we're in the halls. If it's uh, uh, other than coming into the school, you know, at any other time, there's a security guard that have to escort us. If we're going to the bathroom, if, if we go as a group anywhere, we have a security guard and uh, our teacher was the freaking head coach of the, uh, of the wrestling team. I mean, there's reasons they put us with these people. <laughs> we were bad kids, man. We, we didn't care, you know. We did not care. Um, we, we were the extreme outcasts, you know, um, of, uh, of high school. So I end up there. Look at that, man. Restless Revenant. Beautiful freaking spirit soldier. Edgar Charmed Room. And there's guests. Um, I end up coming across this kid about a week later in the hallway. And uh, the security guard was like, I don't know where he was. He wasn't near me, though. I think I, I, I saw him, and I, I asked my friend I, who I was standing next to him, like, Ryan, is that, is that, I think that's the same kid that, that said that to me, you know? Um, and sure enough, yeah, like, I, I'm like, I'm gonna go find out. I went right up to him, I'm like, hey, was that you that said that last week to me? He's like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Dude, the second he said that, boom, I just freaking decked him. And then I got on top of him and started punching him, punching him, man. The bad news is a teacher that ended up breaking it up before the uh, security guard got to us. Because uh, they were like right there. I didn't care. I didn't care who was around, you know. The bad news is, though, the teacher that tried breaking it up, when I was raising my, my fist to punch him, you know, and like pull back again and again, I ended up elbow smashing the teacher in the face. <laughs> And yeah, I think that was one that got me uh, 
That was the one that got me expelled. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. So yeah, uh, I was permanently kicked out of uh, of Mid Park High School. Uh, they said bye bye, Joey Moss. No more you, my friend. No more you. Um, but yeah, man, I just didn't put up with people's crap, and and no one should. I'm not saying go out and fight people because I, I don't like at my age now. I don't I don't like to fight. I don't want to fight. Fighting is the last thing I want to do. One because of my age. I mean, I, I'm 19 now, guys. You know, um, I, I don't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that anymore. Um, I'd rather resolve an issue with words, if possible. You know, an exchange of words. Maybe there's a misunderstanding, something. You know, but if someone's gonna mess with my family. If someone's going to physically attack me, <laughs> anything of that nature, yeah, I, I'm going to whoop someone's ass real fast, man. I'm going to whoop somebody's ass. I don't care. I don't care what what you think you got, man. I, I'm going to whoop your ass, you know. Um, definitely a street brawler, you know, and damn good at it, too. Uh, but, yeah, it's been a long time. I'm glad I haven't had to fight in a while. I don't want to fight, you know. But don't let people bully you. You know, um, I don't want to get into that topic right there, but yeah, but I've been a victim of it many ways, uh, before young, old, all that shit, you know, it's, it's life, man. But, uh, sometimes just roll with it, man. You know, you gotta just brush the shit off, you know, don't let it get to you. Usually if poor, if someone who's bullying you, it's mostly because like there's uh there's some flaw with themselves. That's what, I, that's what I realized over the years. There's something wrong with them. And they're aware of it, you know. And maybe they're doing something wrong in their personal space, in their world. Or, or maybe they're just, uh, they're just not happy with something, their appearance or, or, or whatever. And they usually take it out on other people, you know. And that's sad and pathetic. So, at the end of the day, I only feel bad for those people. All right, guys. We are almost done with this box. It's been a freaking trip. We have pulled so much fire. I hope you enjoyed the little story time I had here. Thought we'd mix it up today. Ah, uh, just chat it up, you know. Usually I don't do that in videos. I just stick to the cards and look at this excitement. You know, but I thought we'd give it a little different, you know, approach here. Uh, okay, we have uh, the blood, the bloodcaster for the thousandth time. <laughs> Wolf Strikey. Down to four total packs and then one. Box topper pack. We'll see what we get. Come on, babe. What the hell is that? Evolving Wild. Sacrifice Evolving Wild. Search your for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield. Tap and shuffle. What the? That is busted. Oh, my God. I think that's the first time they printed this, too. That's a freaking... That's a fetch common, bro. What? Okay. Busted. Seriously? Okay. Tormented Prophet. I haven't seen many of you. Um, Evan Edgar. Edgar Charmed. The Charmed of the Edgar. Wow. Uh, incredible. Pool right there. We're going to go out with some fire. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? We're going to go out with some fire. We got the Bloodcaster. Son of a... Man, did I call it. Holy hell. I got to keep this one for myself. I need to keep this one for myself. This uh, Marcus, I'm keeping that. That, one, that one's sick. That's going in the sweet guy pile. There's Lunar Avenger with the sunburst. Nice pull off the list there. Oh, man. Are the fellas in the card shop going to be jealous? Oh, boy. Okay, let's keep it going here. Try to maintain some composure. We got Fear Manifest going out with a lot of Bing Bangs. Runo, Storm Kirky. Man, we pulled some good fire out of here, guys. Look at, look at, look at, look at, all, look at all these mythics. <laughs> look at all those mythics. That's a lot of mythics. All right. Down to the final booster pack here. We have ourselves Henrika Damnate again with Falnix. And which is I. Whoa. Okay. What a what? <clears throat> what what? And what? So you can't. You gotta be. You gotta be really careful with these. No joke. 
I, I don't know what's worse. The, the card being crinkled from Wizards, or are you crinkling it yourself? <laughs> Take your pick, fellas. Oh, nice, Dracula. We got one of those little dots on the top left there because their printer's always off. Uh, Dracula, Blood Immortal. That is a cool one. You don't see it too often. Nice hit there. Okay, uh, that wraps it up. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely take a moment, hit that like. I appreciate each and every one of you tuning into my videos. It goes a very, 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 very long way. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Skadoosh. Making up for teenage crime. Making up for teenage crime.